and I'm here with the Well Special Day program. And today we are going to be doing one of our favorite crafts, salt painting. We're gonna need just a few things from around the house, starting with a piece of paper. I'm going to be using one of our printables, but you are more than welcome to draw your own scene, of course. We're gonna need some watercolors or food coloring, whichever you prefer, paint brushes, a paper towel to wipe off any excess colors, a cup of water, some glue. I like to use the one with the nozzle so I have a little more control when I'm drawing over my scene. Some salt. You're going to want a lot of it because we use a lot to cover all of the glue. You're also going to want a pretty big container to make sure you catch all the salt instead of spilling it everywhere. If you are using a special surface that you don't want stained or ruined, I recommend getting a piece of cardboard or extra sheets of paper so that it doesn't stain. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start by grabbing our glue and outlining the snowflakes. I just want a thin line of glue so that it doesn't clump or get too goopy. I'm starting from the outside corner of my paper farthest away from my drawing hand to make sure that my arm and sleeve don't get glue on them. going to be to get all of the blue lines and dots covered before moving on to the next section of the paper. But of course, it's your art. You do you. in any order and any spots that you miss always feel free to go back and cover them up of the snowflakes and the dots, I'm going to move on to pouring my salt so the glue doesn't dry. As you can see, I am pouring the salt directly from the container, a very large amount to make sure all of the glue has been covered and there's no sticky spots left on the paper. Don't worry, we're going to come back to the snowman. You're going to grab your container, 
fold your paper in to itself and gently tap the salt into the container so it doesn't fly everywhere. Make sure you try to get all the salt that isn't attached to the glue off of the paper. to our snowman. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the snowflakes, outlining all the blue parts, but as always feel free to color anything in with the glue. down we're moving back to the salt making sure to cover all the glue on the snowman directly from the salt container once again make sure you take your other container gently roll the seam and tap the salt out you want to make sure all the salt that isn't attached to the glue is off the page. Great job. Now for the fun part. We're gonna take our watercolor brush, dip it in our water cup and start choosing our colors. We'll start with one and we're going to take our brush and gently tap it on our salt covered areas. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of pressure because the water and the color will spread along the salt crystals. Isn't that so cool? We'll continue to do this until all of our salt is covered with any color we choose. Remember, there's no wrong colors. This is your masterpiece. to be more vibrant, don't use as much water before dipping it in your color. Just a little trick of the trade.
remember, we don't want to put too much pressure on our paintbrush when we're coloring our snowflakes or our snowman so that we don't displace the salt. The key words are easy does it. done with my snowflakes, I'm going to move on to my snowman. You really want to make sure that if you're going from a darker color to a lighter color, you really wipe off your brush so that the colors don't bleed into something a little more unpleasant than you planned. Finishing touches, my snowman scene is complete. Yay! We did it! Don't forget to sign your name at the bottom because this is a true masterpiece. with us today and be sure to check back soon for more of our favorite activities from everyone here at the well we hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon bye